Hey, beautiful souls, beautiful sunshine here with the R Holistic Killer, aka Sonia B. So I am back with another prophetic message. And the message that I received, I see several different messages, okay? So bear with me real quick. So the first message that I received was I received that some of you guys may find yourself in a situation that you're having a feud with somebody. I kind of got like on the streets or some something like that. Like I guess some words being ex exchanged, but I kind of get the feeling like it's somebody mutual, somebody that a person knows in a sense. And the way it came through is if these people were gonna kind of like get word of something that somebody had said about them and the other person kind of confronted them but I also um, the way I also saw it too was a person was in their car uh, thank you spirit the car was red so red usually means like some sort of you know it can be it can be a higher meaning for red and it can be a lower vibration of meaning for red you know but the way I got this was uh, the car was red, the windows were tinted, but the window was cracked, and you look like, I can't see it. Okay, anyway, so their window was cracked a little bit, okay, but they was talking to them through the crack of the window, in a sense, like, they didn't want to roll their window all the way down, so I was kind of getting it, because I, I know, I couldn't see, but for some particular reason, I knew that there was three people in the car with, uh, this individual excuse me two other people in the car with this individual and basically I got the feeling like this person was only saying something to the other person only because only because the other people were around in a sense so I say all that to say that uh, just be mindful because uh, the way I saw this was it was almost like a little bit of reality retali retali I'm oh excuse me y'all we coming up on the eclipse so I think that energy is kind of affecting me into it was almost like a little bit of retaliation is what I was trying to say. So in so many words, like not somebody, uh, hopefully they're not going to act aggressively, but in a sense that they was just letting this person know, well, hey, you're talking trash to me, but I know where you work at in a sense. So I say all that to say, I hope nobody, I'm just giving you guys the warning. So just be mindful of anybody who's coming with having a little bit of dispute or having or drawing or drawing you in or baiting you into a conversation that's not even worth your time or energy you know just you know just be mindful thank you spirit just be mindful of just picking and choosing your battles at this time should i say especially because we're about to roll up on some eclipse type energy so um you don't know what to expect with that but anyway so that was one message and then another message that i received was uh some of you guys uh if you imagine like a imagine like a big land field of dirt like uh of just a big land field in a sense like they dig a deep hole and then in order to get out of land field you gotta kind of you know drive up out of it meaning like it's a little hill and with that being said um basically what i see that somebody is kind of like in the depths of they feeling like they're in the depths of like some sort of ditch like a big hole in a sense but it's not a claustrophobic type hole and it's not nothing that they can't get themselves out of. It's just that they're trying to find a way out. And it's almost like they're not able to... It's not that they can't find a way out. Everything is a choice. So it's a matter of, like, in the message, I basically gave them some information to help them and show them how to get out of the depths. But it's a matter of whether they choose to listen to that information or not. So if people are kind of giving you information that showed you how they got out of a certain situation and you're choosing not to listen to that then you know yes everything is a choice so it's a matter of uh, whether you choose to listen or not but again somebody's going to find themselves in a situation where somebody's giving them some advice of how to get out of a situation but if they choose not to heed the warning then it's on them okay so anyway and then i received another message was it's pertaining to uh you know the cops or whatever so just be mindful during these times because i know as i said before we're coming up on some eclipse energy and, and the energy i was kind of getting was imagine if you know like say if you see somebody doing something and let's just say like a cop is just maybe sitting off to the side hiding up in the little cuts like they do at times you know trying to meet their quotas and they looking to give people tickets so let's just say that if it's a situation of just be mindful of watching your speed watching how you drive and just watching in general period because the way i saw this was it was like as if the cop was just trying to say like you know i i you know
you know, if you run that light in so many words, I'm going a, I'm to a pull you over. So in other words, it's like, it's just like somebody say, I wish you would. I wish you would. Because if you do, I'm going to do this, in other words. So that's kind of like the energy that I got. So just be mindful of that because the way I saw it is if like this cop was ready to, you know, either uh, pull somebody over or arrest them in some sort of way. So it's almost like the little smallest thing. So just be mindful again. Uh, doing these eclipses that we got coming up because there's some things transpiring that's taking place and you know you're hearing the warning now okay so anyway um then i received another message where there's a situation of um some of you and i feel like this is like a baby daddy in a sense you know but it could apply to any situation so just be mindful of that too because somebody's gonna have a phone conversation with somebody to the point of Somebody's going to have a phone conversation and the way I received this as if maybe I'm also hearing spirit say if it's a friend but in the dream it's also thank you spirit it's also a situation of somebody that somebody once dated or either somebody had kids with okay so it's almost like a baby daddy was showing up at the baby mama's house and there's nothing going on with the two because they're just strictly friends you know that's the way I got the strictly friends okay the relationship is over with but apparently somebody's going to call somebody while they're at and they don't know that the individual's at their uh, child's mother's house in a sense, but somebody's gonna get a phone call while they're at their uh, baby mama's house in a sense. And what's gonna happen is uh, the person who they're calling, their conversation is gonna seem a little short. It's not the fact that they don't want to, it, because the way I received it was, it's almost like they really don't wanna talk in a sense. So whether they tell you that they don't wanna talk, you know, they could've just simply not answered the phone. But I got the feeling like they almost wanted you to know that they were at their baby's mama's house in a sense, okay? So I don't know if that's somebody trying to agitate somebody or get underneath somebody's skin, but you're gonna have to be picking your battles and choosing them wisely during this time, okay? So don't allow somebody to bait you in and, you know, get you all wrapped up in, you know, um, and cause you to become all emotional, you know, and become unwind, should I say, all for their benefits. But in, anyway, so just be mindful of that, okay? Because I saw that they was having a conversation with the baby mom in the background while they was also having a conversation with you, but they wanted you to know that they was at the baby mama's house, okay? So anyway, um, and then I saw one other situation where uh, some people are just, I don't know, I kind of got the feeling like somebody taking the elevator down, like down, like some people taking the elevator down. I'm not sure exactly what that's representation of, but I know, uh, rep, uh, sorry, sorry y'all. <laughs> yeah, so basically, um, yeah, I just saw it was almost like taking the elevator down, down. You know, usually down is a representation of going to a lower level in a sense, thank you spirit, going to a lower level where somebody was up high at first, but then they made, thank you spirit. Somebody was up high at first, oh, thank you spirit. Somebody was up high at first, but now they're being made lower in a sense. Um, because if you guys know that I did that other prophetic message where I was talking about some people were putting themselves up on pedestals in a sense. So um, it's almost like what was up once high or seen to be high um, is made being made low. Okay. So anyway, those are all the messages that I have. And I hope you guys understood exactly what I was saying. And please forgive me because I really feel like there's like some sort of shift here <laughs> with this eclipse coming up. Um, but anyway, so with all that being said, I hope you have a beautiful day and I hope that information was helpful. And remember just to watch your speed and, you know, watch what you're doing at this time, should I say, because it's almost like the energy is going to be a little, a little, I don't know. Do I want to say, I don't know if I want to say a little wild, a little chaotic, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm hearing, thank you spirit. I'm hearing spirit say like, like like towers are being shaken like if you think about the tower in the tarot deck when the people come falling out of the the tower um so foundations are being shaken up so anyway with all that being said i wish you all much love much light and i say peace and blessings remember always keep god first and foremost have a beautiful day bye